Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about a uh, modification I did to my 94 GMC Sierra pickup. I did the mod over a year ago, just now getting around to doing the video. Um, if you, you know what this is, this is the wiper switch, turn signal switch, um, has your uh, wiper settings, wash, delay, all that on here. And uh, I had on mine, um, the delay stopped working. That's all, everything else still worked, but the delay stopped working. And I wanted to replace this because I like my windshield wiper delay. But you have to take the steering wheel off and go inside to take this guy out. And I didn't like my wiper delay that much. <laughs> Not enough to go in and do all that shit. And so I got to thinking, I went in and I'd already ordered one before I did the research and found out that it was more trouble than I wanted to do to go in and replace it. But I got to looking at it and um, there's only like four, three or four connections, electrical connections, uh, and I'm an electronics guy. And so I got to thinking, well, it's a switch. Turns it on, turns it off, pulses the, uh, the washer, and then has five step, right? Five step delay. I said, Derek, this is nothing but resistance and a switch. So I should be able to make my own module to interface with this wiring harness to do what this does. And so that's what I did. That's what this video is all about. And so I'm going to show you how, to, how I did that. I'm not going to walk you through step by step. I'm going to show you my wiring diagrams. I'm going to show you my pinouts and show you my measurements. And then you can figure out how to do it. But it's pretty straightforward. So here we go. So here's a close up of the uh, the switch that's in there now. I'm going to leave the switch obviously because it uh, also handles the turn signal duty as well as the uh, the dimmer for the uh, headlights. Um, but uh, it's two separate circuits, so I, you can disconnect the wiper uh, circuit down at the bottom at the base of the uh, steering column underneath the dash, and still you know keep the uh, the turn signal switch and the headlights switch working so I'll leave this in there uh, but I'll just you know reroute the uh, the wiper wiring for my needs and here's a close-up of the panel installed um, you can see there that originally the uh, stereo the factory stereo was there but I've since added an aftermarket stereo so that spot was empty and uh, I got a little aftermarket um, little insert there that'll you know it's a, it's a little plastic case uh, that will let you, you know, just put change or, you know, whatever, just crap up in there. And so I left that in there and was able to uh, uh, use the front panel from a project box that I had that, that was just exactly the right size for that. And, um, and so that worked out really well. Here is the factory wiring diagram. Uh, this, uh, this helped me a lot just sorting out what's going on uh, with the wiper switch and the, the delays and everything up at the top. And you can see here it shows white, gray, and purple as the main, uh, the three wires that are involved in the circuit. And that's what mine wore. Mine were white, gray, and purple. Uh, but I've seen photos online that show other people may have different colors. So your colors may be different, but look for white, gray, and purple. Here is the, uh, the wiring diagram for my circuit. Um, Again, you see the input there is white, and then the outputs purple and gray are your two outputs. Uh, purple is your uh, is your uh, your high speed output, and then the uh, S4 there is the switch for the low circuitry. And R1 is the uh, potentiometer uh, that lets you adjust your delay. I started with a one meg, and then I found that was way too large. Uh, the first 25 percent on the one meg pot were all that was really usable. Beyond that, the delay got up to be one minute and beyond for your delay on your wipers, and that's unusable. Uh, so I believe I went with a 500K. I'm not certain, but I know I went with less than a meg. Um, so you try 500K, and if, if again, if your delay is too much on that, then drop down to something smaller. But I believe 500K is what I went with. And that diode D1, I, I tried mine both ways, with and without it, and it didn't change a thing. Yours, yours may need it, so you're just going to have to experiment with this and figure it out for yourself whether you need D1 or not. This is the uh, these are the measurements I took off the brand new switch that I ordered. Uh, I just did uh, resistance and diode checks at the connector between the different uh, uh, 
variations, different combinations of white, purple, and gray to see what I needed my module to, to be. And so I read all this and said, okay, I need to build a module that, that mimics this exactly. And once I did that, everything worked perfectly because, you know, it's a really simple deal, switches and resistance, uh, and that's all that's going on here. So this comes in pretty handy. Here is something I found online, uh, which is a, uh, 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 in-depth description of the whole circuitry involved in these GM, uh, delay modules. And so I found this very informative, uh, to help me wrap my head around what I was doing. Um, so it's two pages. Here's the first page and upcoming is the second page. Um, and, uh, you can see there, they're talking about the potentiometer being between the 10 K and 500 K range. Like I said, I believe I wound up using a 500 K pot. And then the bold paragraph there at the end, that's talking about the diode, uh, that I used. And again, some people may need it. Some people may not. Here is a, a close up image of the brand new, uh, switch module that I bought or one like it. Um, I do this to show you the connector there on the right, uh, that plugs in down at the base underneath the dash at the base of the, uh, steering column. Uh, I don't have a photo of the one on mine, but if you go down there and look, you'll see that it's, uh, on yours. If it's like mine, the, the wires will be uh, purple, uh, white and gray. Um, but again, your colors may vary. Uh, it's really easy to disconnect. And so that's all I used on this one. And it's the three wires coming out. Um, and so that's all you need. Just hack this off and solder in the, uh, the wires to the module that you build yourself and it plugs in down there at the bottom. So here's the, uh, the panel pulled back. Um, ignore that printed circuit board, perf board in there. That was completely unnecessary. I should have just, uh, used, uh, should have just wired it straight. Um, so I wired my panel to the little three pin connector there. You see the black, red, and green connector. It's because I want to have a disconnect right here. And I strain, uh, Put a couple of wire ties on that you can see at the very top of the image just to keep the uh, harness from dropping down through the hole there um and that's just uh the 670 ohm resistor is on that board uh, and then everything else is just straight coming off the switches going into the uh the three pin connector which goes down to the new wiring harness that plugs into the steering column um, so nothing much to see here and here I'm just pointing out the uh, the standoffs. These are, I believe they're three millimeter nylon standoffs. I got a kit on eBay that had a bunch of standoffs and nylon screws. And so I just super glued uh, four standoffs, one for each corner. And um, and these holes lined up perfectly with that front panel I had. Uh, um, I really didn't have to line anything up, but uh, that's what I used, just some nylon standoffs in that little cubby hole uh, deal and used that to, uh, to mount my panel. But uh, obviously you can do whatever kind of panel you want. And here I walk through the functions just to show you guys that it does actually work. Uh, the only thing I don't like is whenever you turn it on low, you've got to have the delay set all the way down, all the way to the left. Uh, otherwise, the delay is always active when, you're, you, when you flip the low switch. Uh, that's the only thing you've got to watch out for. On the high switch, it's not active. It doesn't affect the high at all. High immediately comes on. Uh, but low, you've got to, got to watch that. And I have to remind myself to turn it down. Uh, after I've used it because if you were in a sudden downpour and you flip the low switch on and you had the delay dialed in Your wipers aren't going to come on immediately. Uh, you have to turn the delay down to get them to come on So, uh, so you have to be careful for that because that could cause you some trouble uh, if you're in a sudden downpour And here I'm just pushing the, the red button the washer button showing that they work All right, so that was it. That's how I did it uh, if, You know, you can sort it out figure it out for yourself. Just freeze frame the uh, you know, just pause the video where I have uh, pinouts and, and descriptions, but it's pretty straightforward and that diode that we talked about remember on mine It did no it made no difference. Uh, I, I, I Tested it with it in and then I uh, with it without it in and then I put it in made no difference whatsoever So you can leave it off of yours. Maybe just depends on some units, they may need the diode, so you have to test it and see. And everything else works exactly the way I want it to, um, and I really dig it. Because now, instead of just having five wiper delay presets, I've got a bunch. I've got thousands of little little increments I can go in. The only way it'd be be cooler is if I added some LEDs, because LEDs make everything cooler. All right, so thanks, guys. Uh, it's March 6th, six in a row. This is today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Big man, black t-shirt.